is always first. And that's a true blessing. There's just a sense of like togetherness with, with the Sullivans. Everybody's there for each other and you can come to each other with anything you really need. They're awesome. They've been awesome parents, loving household, lots of fun, and they take that energy in the community. I know that they are willing to help and willing to go beyond. The Sullivans are joyful people. They are people who enjoy life. They really, truly have a deep concern for other people. They lead by example with their their compassion and their giving. They have received a great deal, but they have given a great deal. So I, I just think they are the epitome of uh, philanthropy, leadership, and faith. I mean, they are tremendous people. Love you a lot, Mama. I just feel the, the more you're blessed, the more you should give back. We truly have been blessed. When I was 21 years old, I was on a business trip to Dallas. Uh, I had seen Sandy in a couple of years, and I gave her a call, and she said, I'm busy now. And I uh, hung up, and five minutes later, the phone rang, and she said, I'm no longer busy. And uh, I opened that door, uh, and I took a look at this gal that I hadn't seen in a couple of years, and I said, oh me, oh my. I'm not leaving Dallas till I have to. Stayed for a week and to make a, uh, a long, beautiful story very short. Sandy came to my graduation from Miami of Ohio. Uh, we got engaged and then I went away for uh, seven months on a Navy cruise. Uh, came back home, flew to Dallas to make sure that we're still a go. And we got married in March and uh, beautiful things happened after that. The Sullivans are people who don't talk about their faith, they live their faith. Their faith has been exemplary. Loving others, putting others before themselves, and they have from the day that I met them. They truly are people who accepted and embraced the church's teaching. Feed the hungry, shelter the homeless. Whatever you do to the least of these, you do to me. Tom and Sandy have lived Jesus only command, the command to love. Tom and Sandy are both steeped in spirituality. The Sullivans are people who put their faith in action. My parents started this foundation in 1991 and that's taken off in a beautiful way. So when the foundation was started, we actually met here in my parents' home, usually over the Thanksgiving weekend, and we would review grant requests. And it's come from a, uh, a dinner table uh, debate uh, over the Thanksgiving holiday to, I think, a more professional uh, foundation, certainly with the help uh, of the Catholic Diocese. If there was a needy child, the Sullivans responded. Social service agencies and Catholic schools have been transformed through their support. They have been strong supporters of Catholic education. Metro Catholic Parish School and Cleveland Central Catholic High School have been powerfully impacted by the generosity and support of Tom and Sandy and their foundation. I think the impact of Tom and Sandy Sullivan is really unprecedented in Cleveland. The fact that they roll up their sleeves and do whatever level of work is necessary to see it come to fruition is, is really noteworthy. You have a whole generation of children who have become very constructive and positive elements in our society that's really due to the education that people like Sandy and Tom Sullivan provided. I recall my mom taking us down to the Westside Catholic Center, being impressed by how well known she was and how welcome people were to her. And it really dawned on me then um, how involved in the community she was in ways that I really hadn't appreciated yet. And it had a big impact on me. When I recall 
initially talking with Tom about Urban Community School, I remember that his direction to me was, you really need to do what's best for children. You've got a wonderful school here, Maureen. It's got a great program, but your business model seems to be lacking. He said, you needed an endowment. And I said, I really don't know how an endowment works. He said, oh, I'll help you. And besides that, I'll get my brother-in-law to help me help you too. Through his presence, he's giving us uh, insight, uh, input, and uh, we could not exist without it. They've set an example of how to be loving and supportive. In a general sense, it's really a culture of our family. They, they could have done philanthropy differently, but it was important to them to involve their kids and their grandkids. I certainly uh, aspire to someday, you know, walk in their, in their uh, footsteps and, and lead my family the same way that I think they've led their family as well as the way they've impacted uh, the, the Cleveland community. Sandy and I start out every morning uh, by thanking the good Lord for the blessings we do have, starting with our children, our children-in-laws, and our grandchildren. All of them, all of them doing the right thing. And all of them blessed with very good health. And that truly is our biggest blessing. Uh, and we are trying to thank the good Lord by paying back to it. And it's important to make a difference in this world. Thank you, Tom and Sandy, for all you have done for the children of Cleveland. Tom and Sandy, uh, I personally want to thank you for all that you've done for me and for my family and most importantly for what you've done for the city of Cleveland and Northeast Ohio. Thank you for sharing your humanity with me and the world. You and your ability to respect and love people, no matter who they are or what they do, is truly an example for all of us. Uh, Tom and Sandy, I want to personally thank you, first of all, on my behalf for your friendship and support over the years. Uh, I knew I could always count on you, and you always were willing to help. Thank you, Tom and Sandy, for giving all of us who know you an example of Christ-like love. We thank you for the example that you have given all of us. As Christ himself taught us, whatsoever we do to one of the least, we do to him ourselves. Thank you for the example that you have set for all of us. You are a gift to us all. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to Grandma and Grandpa Tom for everything they've given me, whether it's all the life lessons or hidden talents that I never really knew I was capable of doing. Uh, Mom and Dad, um, I want to thank you for all the love and all the laughs and the tremendous uh, example that you've provided to me and Barb and our kids. God, thank you for everything. I love you both very much. And six little kids in the station wagon and we were fighting nonstop. And she stopped at a roadside. Um, and she brought uh, suckers to make us all quiet. And so we're driving around and, and uh, turned out that they were uh, whistle pops. <laughs> I remember my, you know, we, none of us would go to bed very easily. And typical in our household is my dad would go upstairs and yell at everybody, if I hear another peep out of anyone, I'm gonna come up there and I'm gonna, you know, tan some fannies. and. He didn't get two steps down the stairs and he'd hear six kids going, peep, peep, peep. That's the house we grew up in, it was a lot of fun. <laughs>